Hey y'all, it's Deanna with these garden adventures. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I got a lot to do and it's hot. So it's gonna take a while. So I'll have to take several breaks because it's pretty hot. I think it's hot everywhere. Um, my, let's see, let's start with this. My squash and zucchini. If you see, they all got piles of that is topsoil, which is more wood than it is soil. Anyway, they've all got piles of that on their stems. Every single one of them had uh, vine borers. And I worked hard, hard, hard to keep, to kill all the eggs that I found, but I missed, I missed eggs on every single plant. Um, the blue hovered squash that I had planted for a uh, deterrent because it, they say that the vine borer likes that plant more. Yeah, sure, there were more eggs on it, but I still miss, missed eggs on my squash and zucchini. Um, the vine borer, or, I'm sorry, the blue hovered squash, if they survive, I'll be surprised. Um, they came apart at the stem when I went to touch them. So I've got them sitting in water right now to see if they'll root. Because I've never done that with uh, any kind of um, squash or anything like that. So we'll see. If they don't, that's okay. I have another one planted and can plant another. And can start another one. Um, but anyway, this was, I think, two days ago when this happened. And so far they're not dying my squash and zucchini they have you know they're kind of stunted at the moment because i'm sure they went into shock when i cut them open uh, plus the damage that the borer did um, but anyway i cut them open at the stem and then covered them with and took the borer out and killed it and uh then covered them with topsoil but also there were, I found borers in these um, stems of the leaves. So they don't just get in at the you know, point of the ground. They get in wherever the, the egg is laid and hatches. So if it's on the stem, it's gonna bore into the, I mean, on, on the stem of the leaf, it's gonna bore in there. And then it makes it way, its way down to the um, lower part of the plant. but. I did find some in those um, stems of the leaves. But anyway, I'm trying to keep them moist, as moist as I can, and not kill the pepper plants that are in the same pots. Because peppers like water, but they don't need as much water as I'm having to give this uh, squash and zucchini right now. Um, there's my watermelon. He's getting pretty big. And then there's another one on there. Uh, my corn, I don't know. I've looked up the corn and seen how I need to pollinate it. I knew I needed to pollinate it, but I wasn't sure how. And I looked it up. And you have to kind of like, when the, uh, let me go over here. Let's see. When these little things are hanging down, which they're not hanging. Oh, let's see. These little things, when they're hanging down, you cut this off and then and paint it on like a paintbrush. Paint it onto the tassels before they turn brown like this. Uh, when they're nice and pretty and light green, you paint it on there several times when they're this color this one looks like it's been attacked by something but when they're this color you paint it on there several times um, over the course of different days you, you know and uh, that'll pollinate your ears of corn and I was put I wasn't doing it quite like that I was just taking some of those little things that hang down from here when the, with the pollen on them and just putting them on these tassels well you got to do a whole lot more than that oh there is a 
don't know if you can see a varmint that needs to go. And there's some egg. Oh, that looks that looks like eggs of some sort. Yep, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's gone now. It's either eggs or it's a worm of some sort. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Droppings from a pest, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, there's some beans growing. These are going to be dry beans. These are, I believe, are pinto beans. Most of these are pinto beans. There's some other beans in here. But I'm going to start, I may, I don't have it decided yet, start another round of corn. I haven't decided whether to do that or not. We did take an ear off and taste it, and it, it, was, it tasted really good. But, uh, sorry, there's another pest in there that needs to go. I have so much to do, and all these bugs and things that keep trying to attack my garden. Oh, sorry, I have my finger in front of it. Sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, but yeah, my, my watermelon's growing. Let's hope it gets bigger. And that one too. Some of those that were on there didn't pollinate. So, right now I think there's only one here. And I don't know if it pollinated or not. We'll find out. I don't think it did. No, it's looking like it's a little, a little damaged. So, we'll just take it off. Um, I think this one had another one, but I'm not sure. And I did see some female cantaloupe flowers one day. If I can find one, I'll show it to you. They're hard to see. There's, oh, uh, where is it? It's hard to see it. I'm not liking how this camera is. There it is. I don't know if you can see it or not. There. And I don't know if it pollinated. We just have to wait and see. And there's another one. We'll just have to see if it pollinated. And I have one. Where are you? Let me see what I'm looking at here. One Roma tomato. But I think that's about all that's changed. I did plant a bunch of stuff out of my greenhouse. Ugh. My finger gets in the way. I'm left handed. <laughs> my finger's in the way. Anyway, I planted a bunch of stuff from my greenhouse. That was in the red cups. I still have some stuff in there. Some tomatoes, some acorn squash, buttercup squash. I think there's six of those buttercup squash. Some Kentucky pole beans that are supposed to be rust resistant. We'll see. And I think some yellow. Did I? I think I planted the yellow wax beans. We ate some Swiss chard last night. I've never had it. I tried it last night. It's not for me. Not at the recipe I used last night. It was too bitter. It was just salt, pepper, garlic, and oil. Sauteed it. Nah. I'll, no. Um, I've been told to try putting vinegar in it. So we'll see if that works. I might be able to, you know, use it in some soup for a little bit of a bitter, but not just as a whole side dish. Not so much. Anyway, that's about all that's going on. Oh, wait, I lied. There's a couple of jalapeno peppers. 
and this plant's looking a little this squash is looking a little pathetic so I'm gonna have to over, to look him over again make sure I didn't miss a borer in it and my kakuzi squash still hasn't pollinated I'm gonna have to plant another one I don't think they're pollinating at all and I did look it up see that they do better if you have a uh, two of them if you have two of them and no tomatoes are ready yet and let's see my okra and those two brown boxes right there in the middle of the screen are growing there's four of them three of them there and two at the end of the tomatoes they're hard to see but that's about all y'all now that's really about all i gotta get to work out here and figure out what i'm gonna do today and try not to get too hot Y'all take care of yourselves if you're outside working or even in your house. It's hot in the house. I set my air conditioner on 71 and it'll be 78 degrees in there. And it'll never shut off. Even at 1 o'clock this morning, it was still 77 in the house. In Well, in part of the house. I have an AC unit in the bedroom. A window unit. Um, but anyway, y'all stay cool. Drink water. If you're working outside, drink plenty of water, Gatorade, Powerade. Don't drink a bunch of sodas because they just dehydrate you. If you're working outside, it's worse. You need water in the Gatorade and the Powerade. Or even the Pedialyte if you don't like Gatorade and Powerade. Um, but y'all, y'all take care. If you're growing a garden, I hope it works. I'm hoping mine works. I pray mine works. It's hard work, it's hard work. And if you need tips, there's lots of people online. That's where I've learned a lot of my, my um, how-tos. Watching Patera, Appalachia's Homestead, uh, Rusted Garden, MI Gardener, Millennial Gardener, HUW. I forget what his channel is, but there's H H U W is in it. Um, he lives in another country, but he still has some tips. And self sufficient me, I think he lives in Australia, but he has tips. Um, there's lots of people, Roots and Refuge, Whispering Willow Farms. Um, the one who lives in New Jersey with the what is his name? He's got a little dog in his videos named Tuck. Um, man. I can't remember his name. But, uh, there's a lot, y'all. You can find Homestead Heart. You can find a lot of tips on growing vegetables and fruit, even. Some of them grow about fruit trees and things like that. Anyway, y'all have a good one and take care like subscribe share i know i'm you know it's a new channel and i'm trying to do my best to get better at these videos i don't really feel like i'm gonna be a garden uh, gardening teacher because i've never done it not like this this much so i've just done little you know a few tomato plants a few pepper plants but like i said i've never grown all all kinds of stuff like i'm trying to do now so I'm not the best teacher in the world or I don't feel like I am not right now I don't have an, I don't think I have enough experience with some of this so those other channels are helpful but uh, I just like to show what I'm doing and try and tell you how I'm doing it and what works and what's working and what's not working you know down here in in the deep south almost uh, I'm about 45 minutes from the Gulf Coast so all right y'all y'all take care I don't know where Lucy oh Lucy just went in the house because she'd been out here for a little while so she went in to cool off and Harley's out here somewhere but I think he just went under the porch so anyway y'all take care now there's a bird on the house have a good one
Bye.